this is the gateshead end, the southern end of the high level ridge in Newcastle. Uh, below we have the, well now it's just uh, buses and uh, only in one direction at that and above there are trains. This was the original idea, Robert Stevenson's idea, uh, to when this bridge was built, the first of the modern bridges uh, across the Tyne and the oldest surviving bridge, I ought to say, maybe more to the point. This was built between 1845 and 1859. Wonderful uh, structure. And uh, let's have a little bit more look at it. So if you were thinking of coming here with the object of throwing yourself off, uh, you do get um, a second of last chance, which is to ring the Samaritans. Uh, supported by the local NHS, which is a good idea because it's better to bring somebody and have to repair the damage afterwards for people who didn't really want to commit suicide. Now, but I say second of last chance because it is uh, there's plenty of barriers to get through, so you've got to be reasonably physically fit. Uh, and if you're that physically fit, uh, well, at least you don't have fitness to worry about, so what's the point of uh, jumping off? The the bridge is undergoing strengthening work, so it's been strengthened several times, in fact, since it was originally built. Um, first thing is clear is that when it was built, that uh, trains were quite light, and they got quite heavy quite quickly, um, with far more pulling power. So if you think of 1845, well, trains from the infancy to within even 20, 30 years later, they were pretty big things. So uh, uh, it had to be strengthened several times. The current strengthening works um, have meant a number of things. First, the first thing I do was to scrape away all the paint. It had been painted 33 times. I had to go back to it originally and paint it again. Scrape away the paint to find out what the problem was. Um, the next thing they did was we have now extra barriers there between the road and the, um, uh, the, bridge, the bridge itself. The point of this is to stop cars smashing themselves, or lorries or something, smashing themselves into the, uh, the ironwork or whatever uh, is a way of not damaging it any further. Obviously it would take a pretty big bang but I suppose every little bang helps bring the thing down in the long run. So these things here were added uh, and now it's only one and it's, it fit the road before was really really uh, I've, ne I've never driven across this bridge but uh, I've been in this passenger and uh, it was very very tight so, and that, I mean, when they're taking an extra, what, 40 centimetres both sides, maybe more, 50 centimetres both sides, about a metre loss, so I mean, it's in the direction. And to keep it light, the, uh, uh, stop the cars going across anyway. Trains do not use it very often, uh, only occasionally when there's too much work uh, to, to be done. Normally trains use a bridge down there, the Edward Seventh Bridge, uh, because trains could only actually reverse in one direction here. It wasn't a two-way uh, circuit. Now, if you, want, if you want to throw yourself off there, it's quite difficult. Putting yourself off here, though, is much easier. Not only that, you've got a good view as well for throwing yourself off over. Oh, very attractive. And so this is the view looking west, and uh, we can see the new uh, metro bridge with a um, metro running across it. I say new, it's about 30 years old now, but uh, almost. And there's a train running across the bridge beyond that as well. That's the one going into the town across the edge with the 7th bridge built in. Ooh, what was that complete? 1906, I think it was. Uh, turning round. There's the time bridge. Isn't that nice? So plenty of nice views from this bridge. Construction, very attractive.